Hello and welcome to the PixelR Easy Graphics training. Uh, this tutorial is how to c create a Kunaki box uh, graphic. Okay. Uh, first of all, you need to go to pixelr.com, and once you get there, you open PixelR Editor. Click on that. Okay. We're going to open the image from your computer. It's a flat uh, JPEG. Uh, template, simple template that we're going to use to build our box cover. Okay, so you're going to click on that and you're going to find the folder with the templates that I provide for you. In my case it's Pixel Art Templates. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to find the Kanaki basic template and open that. Alright, so now I have my template open. This is a basic plain uh, template. It's all laid out uh, the way that I designed it. Um, of course, there's many ways you can design a Kuneki box. It doesn't have to follow this guideline, but this template is here to, to make your life easy. And we pretty much just replace everything that's here in this image. And that's what you're going to give to Kuneki to print your cover or print out of your own printer at home okay so you can get your own DVD cover and print this page out here and slide it right inside a DVD box cover alright so, so either way it's up to you alright first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a new layer so over here in the layers area let me scoot these in uh, click right in here to create a new layer alright when we're done at the end we're going to save this as a JPEG um, there's going to be many layers uh, in this graphic uh, by the time we're finished and the one restriction with pixelr.com is when the files uh, get to be too big um, you can try and save um, uh, images with layers like I have in the past uh, tutorials maybe two or three layers but when they technically get too large uh, pixelr.com will be saving for literally for an hour or longer so uh, we're going to try and avoid that and that's why I provide you with this flat template here and we're going to work from here and once you get to that point um, where you're comfortable with your graphic you save it as a JPEG and uh, then you send it to print okay uh, I'll explain more about that later on let's get on with it okay so first of all now that I have my new layer I need to decide what kind of uh, color background I want to do uh, for the sake of this demo I'm gonna keep this a little bit more basic I'm not gonna go too crazy with graphics I'm going to show you how to replace everything here in this uh, demonstration so I want to grab my paint bucket tool and I'm going to fill this whole cover in with color. So let's see, I can fill it with either a gradient or a flat color. Okay, um, let's fill it in with a gradient. Okay, so let's cancel this. Your gradient is right over here. So select the gradient tool. And then I can pick a gradient. Um, from up here I can select the colors that are already pre-selected or I can select um, my own colors by changing these here clicking on these and then changing the color here so I make a custom gradient but let's see what we got in here this one looks pretty good um, I like the way that looks let's see let's go with this okay so now I can come over here and I'm gonna click and drag let's see what direction it takes us there or how about down we'll try it down okay so the dark end is up on top I like the way that looks it's a nice color it's a nice gradient so we're gonna go with that okay so I'm gonna change the name here to BG gradient Yeah, I'm just gonna just let me put BG. That's fine. Okay. Um, new layer. I clicked a new layer, so now layer two is coming up. Okay. Okay. I already used <coughs> the gradient tool here, uh, and this new layer. Oh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to turn the gradient off. That's what I'm gonna, and I want to um, keep in mind where this barcode is here. 
and make sure not to put anything in this area here, okay? Because Kunaki automatically puts a barcode on your uh, box right in this area here. So if you're not, if you're printing this out of your own computer at home, don't worry about this. Um, you won't have to worry about the barcode. But um, if you're going to Kanaki and you're going to print out multiple copies of this, make sure and keep in mind that the barcode goes here. Do not put anything important in this area here. Okay. So what I do um, is just kind of always click back, click off, and make sure that you don't have anything near that area. Okay. So we'll work we'll work around this. So I'm going to put an image right in this area here. So let me go to File, Open an Image, and let's see, I want to go to, it's on my desktop. This one here, I got it from iStock Photo. Uh, it's opened up in a new window now. I'm going to go to, is it Edit, Select All, then I'm going to click Control C, and now it says I copied it. Now I come back over here and I put Control V, and it pastes it on there. Okay, it actually made itself a new layer, so it's layer three. So I didn't need, I don't need layer two after all. I created a new layer, but it actually put the picture on its own layer. So I can get rid of layer two. Let me trash that layer. So here I'm going to change this to, let me put back. Um, image. Okay. So let me get the move tool here and move it right into place. So now we're looking at a really tiny image. So let's do something about it. Let's go to edit, free transform, grab a corner, make it a little bigger. Keep in mind the barcode is there. Okay, click on the Move tool again. Do you want to apply this? Yes. Okay, so now, let's turn the color on. That's where that image is going to be. We can um, add a drop shadow to this if we like. So we can come down here to the Layer Styles. Click on that. Let's add a drop shadow. Makes it a little bit more interesting. Uh, you can do an inner shadow if you like. You can do a bevel. You can do both a bevel and a drop shadow. We can do that. That looks neat. An outer glow instead of a drop shadow if you wanted. Okay. Um, the size of it there. Something like that. Um, but I'm going to do, I'm going to take uh, the outer glow off and do a drop shadow instead. And then click OK. All right. So we're looking pretty good. So the back image we're done with. Uh, now let's turn this off again. See, I keep having to turn the background, the BG uh, background, off so I know where I'm at. That's how I'm going to work with my template. Okay? So it's just a matter of replacing things. Okay, so now I'm going to replace, uh, oh, I'm going to replace this gray graphic here. So I'm going to grab this marquee tool and I'm going to start with this bottom corner here, and I'm going to pinpoint that bottom corner, and I'm going to left click and drag up until I match all the other three corners. So that's the size I want there, and release. Okay, now that I've released that, I can grab the paint bucket, and I can fill it in with the color. If I like this gray color here, I can go with that. If not, I can go with, uh, with even a white. A white will work. So I'm gonna I selected white. Now I'm gonna drop the paint bucket. Oh, I gotta make sure now that I need a new layer. Okay, so let's create a new layer. Okay, this layer is gonna be on top. And now I'm in inside the marching ants area with the paint bucket. I'm gonna left click, and it drops that white color inside of there. Come over here to layer four. Change the name. And I'm going to put a back text box. Relabel that. Okay. Let's turn back on the BG blue color. There we go. It's looking good. 
uh, press Control D, and that takes the marching ants off of there. They're annoying, so let's get rid of them. Okay, so now we're in the back text box. Now let's do something with that. We bring up the layer styles by clicking this, and we can add a drop shadow to that thing there. Okay, that makes it look more interesting. Inner shadow, I'm really not liking that there. We can do a bevel with that. An outer glow will work too. We can change it to either, uh, let's go with white, put OK, and that'll make the outside look powdery. See, like a glowy powder, like a little haze around it. That's kind of cool. You know, you can do that. So it's up to you, put OK. All right, so now we have that work area there. It's looking more interesting by the minute. All right, so now what I, what I want to do is I want to, oh, the phone's ringing, we'll annoy, uh, just not pay attention to that. Um, the image on the back, let me turn this BG off here. Uh, let me also turn off that box there so I can see this image that I want to replace here. Okay, let's see, did I close up that? Let me close this image back here. Do you want to save? No. Okay, so we're going to replace this image here. And as an example, I'm going to use a picture of myself, I believe. So let me go to File, Open Image. I think I have an image of myself on the desktop here. Uh, there it is. I put Open. I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did with the other image. Let me go to Edit. Select all. Now I'm going to press Control C, copy. Click back on this artwork over here. Control V is paste, and here it is. It appeared here. Okay, he created a new layer of it over here. So now let me bring my image over here. I'm going to go to Edit, Free Transform grab a corner of it, drag it over, I'm going to put it about right there. So the template is is working, okay? Do you want to apply changes? Yes. You see how the template is working? It shows me exactly where I need everything to be, okay? So over here, I'm going to change the name of this layer to person. Whoever your client is, you can put their name in there, you can put your name. Now, I need this layer. It automatically shoved it here, um, right above the background. I need it to be in front of all the other graphics that I created. So let me, I'm just going to left click on it and just pull it above. Okay, here's another way to do it. I can move my layer box over here, grab the corner stretch it out so I can see all my layers with more room. Grab it, put it above. Let me turn on the blue. Let me turn on the back text box area. Alright, so now I'm looking at everything I have here. Um, in the person layer, let me go to the layer styles box. I can bevel around my own picture. I can do a drop shadow there if I like. I can do an outer glow with the color. So let's see. I can, go, I, can, I can even choose this same blue here and put OK. Do the size on it. Maybe there, maybe the opacity a little bit down. Uh, the hardness of it, I can go soft. It's a powdery blue. OK, do something like that and click OK. And there we go. So we got the person, the back box, the back image, and the BG there. All right, so now we're going to put some text on there. Click on the text box here, and I don't need to turn this off and turn all these other things off. I know the text can go inside of here. It's just a matter of filling it in. So for the demo's sake, let me click inside of there, change the text color to maybe a navy blue or a black. We'll just go with black, put OK. Let me put, 
hello welcome to my kunaki box cover tutorial using pixelr.com oops pixelr.com all right I just need some text to get in there let me make it a little bit bigger I can even put a a quoted uh, saying in there maybe it's something that I'm saying next to my picture you know and then uh, let me change the style the font here maybe something even a little different than what the rest of my text is going to be something cool like that uh, let's see maybe a little bigger and put OK and grab the move tool and bring it over I we'll have to go a little bit smaller on that let's take it down a little bit put OK I could put that right next to my face there and then uh, it's something catchy though you know whatever it has to do with your business you know how it would hey I can help you make money today doing blah 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 you know give me a chance and in this video I will show you uh, in the next 60 minutes how you can earn blah 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 okay create another text box let's go down here and we're gonna put um, uh, you can put maybe what's in the chapters chapter one you know how to um, blah 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 Laura made some text in there okay let me change it to black again um, and put OK oops I put OK over here and oops the color I need black okay Okay, you're going to be writing a lot more stuff than this. So, okay, let's go. Chapter two. Ah, can't type today. How to blank. Chapter three. How to blank and so on and so forth um, now let's click OK so you can take a look at it alright so it's as simple as that to edit in some text and then with the move tool you can move it wherever you want okay and then down here another little paragraph stating um, you know this these these three uh, in these chapters, you know, you will learn to be a professional, blah, 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 and da, da, da. Okay, there you go. So, now let's move ahead to the front cover. Okay, now on the front cover, we want to put more text up here. So, we're going to go with another text box where your title goes. We're going to go there. Okay. So let's change that to black color. Put OK. Um, we'll put in your creative title goes here. Be sure to use a font so you need to line it up 
in here the way you want it to go up there. Let's change this over to um, maybe well, let's do like a navy blue or something. Okay, or like a, okay, let's go there like that, and then. Um, Okay, now you see it there. Oh. The size of it. It's probably let's go with um a hundred or so. How about like that? Now let's do the font. And then we're gonna go bold with it. There's tons of fonts in here that we can go, we can use, just search through them, find something cool. Let's check this one out. We'll use this one. All right. Um, let's see. Maybe we should go a little bit smaller. Or also what we can do is this. Stack the font a little bit. Only go a few words deep so that you can up the size and get them to fit. Let's change it to white. It's a different type of font. Or let's change it to a, like an off white. Let's take a look at it. And now let's go dark. See, sometimes you just have to play around with it. And you see what looks good. Let's change it to dark. And then let's go with bold. It doesn't make a difference with this font. And we'll click OK. OK. So now we have um, your creative title. You can see that there. And let's go with, let's click down here to the, hopefully you can see this layer styles and we can do like an outer glow around it it could be white click OK and we can mess with the size the hardness of it it can go way down the opacity up All right. Inner glow. Play with all these. You never know. You can check. No, we don't want any of that. Let's click OK. OK. So I think what I want to do now is maybe put a graphic um, behind this here to make it pop a little bit more. So I'm thinking what I could do is grab a shape let's let's do this we can do a shape here with the shape tool oh let's click a new layer layer 9 click the shape tool um, let's do the rounded rectangle and let's put it like right around this area here and now let's let's color that white I'm using the paint bucket tool I have the white color selected here all I have to do is click on the shape and it turns white I'm gonna change the name of this to front shape just name it something simple and easy to recognize and now the front shape I'm gonna go down here to layer styles um, I can do a bevel with that or I can also do a drop shadow with that I mean the possibilities can go on and on uh, it's just a matter of being creative the size there we go you can do something like that click OK okay now we need this shape to be behind the um, text 
so we'll bring it down okay your creative title goes here be sure to use a creative font alright so we can change the color of this font here Let's see maybe like a something bold like an like a dark orange or something would stand out let's see see it's just a matter of being creative you can move this out of the way so you can see what you're doing click OK OK your creative title goes here and just and play around with it you know um, let's get rid of that now we could see where we're at. Uh, I think we could still go bigger. And we can go bigger with this font here. I'll put OK. Hopefully by now, this far into this, you guys are getting the hang of this. It's becoming a little bit easier. Let me transform this, edit free transform. I'm going to transform this front graphic shape a little bit. Line it up there. Click off of it. Yes. Alright. Maybe these tools should be becoming a little bit more second nature by now. You know, maybe a different font would be a little bit more uh, legible here. So let's let's do that. You know, you might not like Font we're going with, so let's let's do something about it. go with black put OK let's, uh, let's try it without this shape here let's see how this looks OK let's do this here let's do the outer glow opacity Hardness is a little bit too much. Or we can do this. We can do drop shadow and then put OK. Um, let's do the text. change the text to maybe a light blue put OK put OK there and now let's work with the drop shadow I think the distance is a little bit far let's move it in a little bit bit closer. There we go. And click OK. Alright, so that looks a lot better. Okay? Sometimes it's just choices. You know, you just gotta select what's gonna work for you. Alright, so there we go. We got that. 
and now it's a matter of uh, putting an image here something creative there so let's go to let's turn that back on let's go to file open image um, on my desktop I have this image here I'm gonna reuse this one again I go to open uh, I'm going to do the same thing I've done in my other tutorials. This lady here, I'm going to grab my magic wand tool, select the white areas. Um, this is going to be a, a repeat of what I did before. I'm going to get the lasso tool. I'm going to get the uh, polygonal uh, lasso here. Press control and I'm going to try to include all this money here because the marching ants have gone inside of them and are taking them away from my image so I gotta go inside and you gotta go slow with this the way this tool works sometimes on pixel art is kinda like it's almost like it's on ice skates okay so there I got it all now I gotta go to uh, edit invert selection so now the girl is selected I can get the move tool left click on her and drag her right over and release there there she is oh one thing I forgot I could see it right now one thing I forgot to do was subtract that little area inside her arm so uh, what I'll do is oh you know what Here's what I'll do. Let me close some of these windows. Nope. And let's see here. Let me. I'll change this to girl. Edit. Free transform. there. Uh, click on the arrow, put yes. Okay, I want to get rid of that white area I forgot in there, so I use the magic wand tool, select it, and I click delete. There it goes. And control deselect to take those ants off of there. Okay, I'm going to do what I usually do. The graphic trick is I'm on that layer. I'll put an outer glow around the image, around her. Um, change it to a white or a light outer glow. OK. Uh, size a little bit like that. OK. And now let's take a look at what we have here so far. All right. So if I really want to get creative, which I'm thinking now that I have her picture there because her waist gets cut off, uh, I think what I want to do is add in a graphic shape so I'm going to maybe take the marquee tool here and I'm gonna create a new layer right above the background here so I clicked on the background the BG and I'm gonna put new layer There's, there it is okay now I have this uh, the marquee tool and I'm gonna start on one end here the backside here clicking and I'm dragging and I'm going to go across all the way from one end to the other and release. And I'm going to take the paint bucket tool and maybe, let me change the color, maybe go with like a like a blue gray or so. You know, it's up to you to mess around with it. Like a blue gray. Put OK. Take the paint bucket tool and drop it right in there. And let me move, oh, let me deselect that. Control, deselect to get rid of the marching ants. Now let me move it down to about here, that graphic. See, but I want, oh, maybe a little bit lower. I want her to be tucked behind this strip here. So now I need to pick, uh, bring her back down. So I go up to her layer, bring it down 
little by little, bring it down behind the um, and just put the strip. Okay, see, so now she's behind there. All right, so let me get that thing and move it down a little bit or there. And uh, okay, now on this strip here, same thing, go to layer. Um, I can do a bevel on that or I can do a drop shadow to look kind of cool. Uh, let's see, inner, inner, with inner glow, that looks nice, so I'll leave that. Okay. And now I can write text right along here. Um, let's say like phone number or anything like that. Business phone number. Um, let's put Call today, uh, five six two eight eight three. Oops, two one two one. Let me line this up. Oops, dang. Call. Uh, this is just an example, so I know the design of this could be a little bit cleaner and uh, you know a little bit more um, lined up correctly but I'm trying to not make this tutorial too long but okay alright so there we go so we have our text there so we have our text in the front we have our image in the front we have our graphic everything the only thing we're missing now is this text that goes here. Okay, so here's how we're going to do that. We're going to take the uh, text tool and I'm going to start typing. Uh, we're going to make a dark font uh, color and I'm going to basically type in and it's going to be smaller. I'm going to type in, um, let me turn this on so I could see it. Turn on the blue. Oops, where'd it go? Okay. Shoot. Grab that text tool. Okay. Change the color to black. And I'm going to put in like um, my creative title again. Your title goes, oops, goes here. And I'm going to put. Okay, so um, let me make that font a little bit smaller, maybe there, like so. Um, maybe, uh, you know what, let me backspace that. Okay, you're creative. Let me go, maybe 60. And then, you know what, maybe the font should be a white too, just like the cover. And then put OK. OK. OK, now I have this text that I need inside there. I'm going to go to, here it is, up here it's the top layer. Edit. Free transform. Let me see. Okay, yeah. Edit. Free transform. Uh, 
Oh, you know what? It does not. Let me see. Merge visible. Let me go to rasterize layer first. Make sure that your text is what you want it to be. Then you go to rasterize layer. Now let's see. Let's go to edit free transform. Okay. It will not let you free transform your text unless your text is rasterized. What that does is it no longer makes it editable anymore. So make sure you have written down what you what you want. It becomes more of a graphic instead. Okay. So now that we have it in stone, we need to it's free transform and we can just grab a corner and rotate it around up and down like that and then move it where we need it to be you want to apply put yes I need to what I need to do is turn off this blue here so I could see if I have it lined up and I'm gonna bring it in right here so you can add more text to it too this isn't just it you can add more but I want to get through this demo let me go to edit free transform again it needs to be tweaked a little bit straighten it up I'm gonna line it up with this text here I'm just going off of what I have there Put yes click the blue layer back on and there it is your creative title goes here by Philip okay have that going all the way down. So there it is. There's your tutorial on how to do the cover. The only thing left for me to do is save it. File, save, and I'm going to save as a JPEG. Okay. See, as a JPEG, it's 554 uh, uh, kilobytes. Uh, put OK. And then I'm going to name it Kunaki Box Template and put save. And there it goes, it's saved. All right, let's check it. Click on it. There it is. There's my cover. All right. Um, once you guys get the hang of this, it's gonna it's gonna be a lot easier. Uh, you can save yourself a lot of money by doing this on your own. Okay. Um, a lot of the tools here in PixelR and the toolbox, remember, they're just like Photoshop. So all the steps are very similar, very, very similar, almost identical. So like I said, if you ever get a, a copy of Photoshop, uh, even the lower end versions of Photoshop, um, uh, Photoshop Elements, um, you're going to be able to jump right on and do this. All right, guys, thank you. Um, hopefully I answered everything you possibly would need with this tutorial and this template here. I think I covered it all. Um, see you in the next tutorials we are going to also cover uh, how to do the insert for the kunaki template and also how to do the graphic for the disk itself alright guys take care